Good morning, everybody. It's Friday, December 1st. Uh, Merry Christmas for those we're getting into the Christmas season here at Litchfield County Computer. It's been a, an amazingly busy time here in the shop, which is why I haven't made any videos. But I have something very interesting that has just come in, especially for those of you on the Dell message boards. And we'll get right to it. I had this tower come in with a complaint that the keyboard and the mouse did not function. And when I tried to f boot up the tower, sure enough, the tower then did boot. But I discovered that the keyboard and the mouse did, did were in fact dead. And when I did some more investigating, I rebooted the machine, tried to get into the BIOS, because there was a report that it did, in fact, work in the BIOS. And I rebooted the machine, and the machine would not pass its power on self-test. What the heck? So I waited a little while with the machine completely off, and the machine boots. And I continue doing testing, and I find out that inter intermittently and easily reproducible, the machine will not pass its power on self-test after it's successfully booted one time. So I'm thinking, hmm, what's going on internally? I pop open the case and begin to do a visual inspection. And the very first thing that catches my eye is, I'm going to zoom right in on it. Uh, excuse me, that's a little dark. Let me see if we can get a little closer. You can't really see it very well, but down here there's a chip and I believe from what I've read on the Dell forums it's the Southbridge chip this chip from the factory is supposed to have a heat sink on it and I'm going to put some light on the subject so we can view this area a little better in video and I will come back to it we have returned, and now I have some more light on the subject. And as you can see, we have a chip that has no heat sink on it, yet note the two holes that are diagonally opposed that are designed for the heat sink to mount. So there are holes for the heat sink to be there. Also note that the top of the chip has a glass-like finish, which is an indicator that it is in fact supposed to have a heat sink. I, once I discovered this, I went over to the Dell forums and did some research. This is an Inspiron 660 tower, and I found that someone had an Inspiron 620 tower that had severe issues, namely a video freezing, choppy video performance, and then they found that after an hour of runtime, the machine completely froze up and would not reboot. It would not pass a power on self test. And when they opened the case, this is what they found. The same thing that I'm finding right now with this Inspiron 660. And Dell officially says that this chip is not supposed to have a heat sink. Well, I hate to tell you, Dell, but you've got the holes for the motherboard, you've got the glass finished chip, and I've never seen a Southbridge chip without a heat sink. Once I discovered this and did some reading on the forums, I then checked the back USB ports on the back of this tower here, and they all appear to be dead. The South Bridge, one of its functions is to control the USB ports. 
I'm making this video, I'm going to post it on the, the, the Dell forum so that everyone can see that this particular Inspiron 620 is not the only Inspiron out there that has this problem. I suspect it's the entire Inspiron 600 series and thus Dell has a design issue on the Inspiron 600 series motherboards. This is a design flaw that needs to be fixed. Unfortunately, the individual that brought this computer in here is not the original owner of the machine, so I can't get the impressions on what this machine was like right out of the box. But I suspect that there were issues that nobody knew what the cause was. Now, I suspect you're looking directly at the cause. We also have just completed another custom build for another one of my customers who's a land surveyor. This is very similar to the Mike Reardon custom build that I've spoken of before. Um, I'm still waiting for final transfer of data and final software installation. Hopefully that will be coming soon. This machine is running like a top. And with that, that's going to be the end of this video. Have a Merry Christmas. If I don't see everyone before then, I'll see everyone soon. Have a nice weekend. Bye-bye.